What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scattered by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV-based. What is going on, you guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday, and I plan on doing the absolute same, okay? Now, um, as you guys already know, um, we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about a little bit of escape drama. Once again, the drama never ceases to amaze me with this group, because ever since this show been out, they have had a whole lot of drama. Now, as you guys already know, last night, um, Latasha Scott and Coco Gamble of SWV um, made an appearance on Watch What, ha Watch what Happens Live, and Andy asked Latasha a couple of burning questions in regards to her sister, Tamika Scott. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen along with it, and I might stop it and might do a stop and go where I stop it and get my opinion and then keep on moving. But you know, we're going to go ahead and go go ahead and get into it right now. So let's listen in on what Andy asked Latasha and what Latasha had to say. Let's get into it. Just like Tasha's husband, her relationship with Escape could also be called Rocky. So tonight we're digging into all their drama with a round of Can't Escape the Truth. Um, so I want to talk about the 30 grand. If, if neither yourself or Rocky cashed in the royalty checks, what do you think happened to it? I don't know. You know, I saw this at the same time you guys did. You're okay. About what, 11, 13 years that she said this happened. But because she said she posted it and I did see that she posted it, I want to find resolve. That's my sister at the end of the day. And I don't want to continue to move forward if we can't find that. Um <laughs> It's crazy that she constantly keeps on saying that she found out about the 30 grand at the same time we did, but you guys filmed this show back in July. So apparently you found out about the money long before we found out about the money. You found out about the money over the summertime. So what are you talking about? How can how can you say that you found out about the money at the same time that we did when y'all filmed the show like almost a year ago? Come on, Tasha, you gotta be, let's keep it moving y'all. Um, what did you think of her post with all the receipts and everything? Uh, like I said, I learned about it at the same time you guys did. Um, and she just makes herself look foolish every time she says that. She always want to say, well, I found it at the same time you guys did. It's like she constantly keeps playing dumb. And it's not working in her favor like she think it is. Anything about it? What did you? What do you think about Tamika's claim that the solo deal you scored uh, was initially met for both of you, and that you took it from her? Well, what's for you is for you. I can't take anything that belongs to you. But at the end of the day, when we were thinking about, well, actually talking about doing music, we kind of everything kind of went downhill. And when you're talking about inspiration and inspiring people, you don't want to be fighting when you're in the studio about that type of stuff. So I moved forward in in my walk. Why block her on social media and change her number? Never blocked my sister. You did not? I never blocked my sister. Why would I block my sister on social media? Now, they, she's unfollowed me. Okay. But never blocked her, no. Uh, and I changed my number. It was so many things going on. I was getting crazy phone calls. And at the time, nobody was using it anyway. Um, do you feel that your mom plays favorites when it comes Thank to you and Tamika? Or is she you know, being dramatic when she says you're her mom's favorite. Um, Maybe she she probably feels that way. Well, let me just say this. My sister was very rambunctious coming up. When I tell you she got in trouble by all of our aunts, she got kicked out of school. That's where she met Tiny. Okay. So she's always had that thing. And anytime my mother and I would try to talk to her, it's like, Tamika, listen, we don't want you to be looked at in that way. Like, change it. So it would, it would probably seem to her like we we're one-sided. But no, we, we never wanted her to be in trouble. But no, Tamika, had, she has had issues. Yeah. Uh, what's your response to the ladies continuing to perform without you and your sister taking your parts? Um, I don't, we don't mind because we've done that before. Uh, although we changed our name to Escape 3, you know, I just felt like they should have probably respected it in that way because it's not Escape until it's all four of us. That's just how I feel. Um, but for them, I, I don't want them not to make money and do shows. That's not what it's about because I love to do music. I want to do music. They want to do shows too. Okay. So you want to rejoin them, right? For sure. I never left. Okay. Outside of what you see on Wikipedia. Okay. I never left. Okay. Okay. My name is off, but I'm still a part of Escape. Um, and how did you feel about Candy saying your attitude was more of assitude because you were an ass to everyone? Mm, didn't hear that, but okay. Okay. <laughs> That's how she feels. I'm not. I'm a positive person. Anybody that knows me, but you know, we've always always had kind of back and forth banners, Candy and I. So I, I expect that to be said from her. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips. As you can see in this audio that I played from Watch What Happens Live, 
Latasha still doesn't take any accountability. She still doesn't own up to anything. She continues to throw her sister under the bus. My thing about the situation is if you really want to make things work out with your sister, just flat out say, I want to make things work out with my sister. Don't go along the lines of trying to paint your sister out to be this bad person. And I think that's what's going to continue to make you guys stay in the same place that you're in. Don't say that you want to make things right and y'all want to be in a better place. But then you turn around and say, well, my sister had issues. My sister used to get suspended from school. My sister used to do this. My sister, she was very rambunctious. She had a whole lot of issues. She had a whole lot of problems. But that doesn't make what you've done to her right, though, Latasha. That's the part that you're not getting. It doesn't make the fact that your husband stole money, um, st was stealing money from her. It doesn't make that right. Well, allegedly stealing money from her. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right that you're saying that so freely. And you think that it's okay to say something like that. And it's not. Um... I don't know. Um, and then she keeps on, you know, saying this thing of, well, um, I learn with everybody else. 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 All that stuff. And it's like, you did not learn with the rest of us. You did not learn with the rest of us. You know what I mean? Like, you've been knowing this. You did not learn with the rest of us. So it's kind of like, come on now. And then she said, well, since she posted the receipts, okay, now we can come to a resolve. Okay. Now you want to come to a resolve now that she posted the receipts after you flat out said that she was lying about the whole thing. Now, since she posted the receipts and proved your ass wrong, now you want to uh, make up and, you know, try to get past it. Latasha is so transparent and it's so annoying. And I just really need for her to really just own up to what she did and own up to the truth. Like, stop doing that. Stop playing games. Stop acting like you're innocent because you know that you're not. Stop doing that, Tasha, because that is the reason why we can't see it. That's the reason why we don't really see it for you, and that's the reason why we can't see it for you due to these situations. And it's just annoying. And no. No. And um, she don't want to own up to the fact that she took that deal from Tamika. She don't. I'm sorry. I know. And then she keeps on trying to throw Tamika under the bus and keep on saying that, you know, she's a liar. She lied on somebody else and had to go back and apologize when she did that for you. You are like Latasha is trash. And I can't say that enough. She's trash. And I know people are going to probably say that I'm being cruel or being mean by me saying that. But she is trash. Like, I would never do that to my siblings, ever. If I really wanted to make things work out with my family, I would never say things like that on national TV. You constantly create the issue by doing the things that you do. And you not keeping your husband out of you and your sister's business is another reason why um, your relationship with your sister will forever be tainted. So I don't know, Latasha, like going on, watch what happens live and you doing all these interviews ain't making it no better. And then have y'all seen this new video that she got out now called Afraid, where she got on this Soul Train dress that she had under the Soul Train Awards and stuff like that. And she trying to play the victim and all this other stuff and it's just crazy. So, Latasha is something serious. She's a complete gaslighter, and I do not like people that like to gaslight folks, period. But that's really all I got on that. What do you guys have to say about Latasha and her appearance on Watch What Happens Live? I got to do another video on her appearance on Watch What Happens Live because she did talk about mm -hmm. Tiny's mother on the after show. I got to go back and listen to that and get that together so I can do a video for that so you guys can chime in on that as well. With that being said, this will be your boy Scott about Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also be sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here. Rest in peace to my girl, Danita Rashawn, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right. Bye, y'all. What's up guys, it's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. 
got everything you need and more. It's got R&B. It's got a little bit of pop. It's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out. And you can also follow me at I am underscore Tramel. That's I am underscore T-R-A-M-E-L. Check me out. I hope to hear from you.